Hello viewers, I'm Tuba Nafiz, presenter at SBA. Today I'm gonna cover chromatography and its types. So let's begin. Chromatography is a technique that separates components of a mixture. It was first practiced by Michael Sweat in 1906 primarily for the separation of plant pigments such as chlorophyll, carotenes, and xanthophylls since these components have different colors like green, orange, and yellow respectively, the technique was given its name. Arthur Martin and Richard Singh during the 1940s and 1950s established the principles and basic techniques of partition chromatography and their work encouraged the rapid development of several chromatographic methods. Chromatographic technique uses some important terms. Let's discuss them one by one. Analyte. It's a mixture whose individual components have to be separated and analyzed. Stationary phase. It's also called adsorbent. It's a material which will allow components of the mixture to adhere to itself. The common adsorbents used are alumina and silica gel and both are polar in nature. Mobile phase. It's also called carrier. It's basically a solvent moving through the column. Eluent. It's the fluid entering the column and eluate is the fluid leaving the column that is collected in a flask. Adsorption is the process of adhering of molecules to one another without the making of chemical bonds. And elution is the process of washing out a compound through a column using a suitable solvent. Principle of chromatography. The mixture is dissolved in the mobile phase which carries it through a structure holding another material called a stationary phase. So chromatography uses two phases, a stationary phase and mobile phase. The components present in the mixture are either adsorbed on the stationary phase or remain soluble in the mobile phase on the basis of their affinities towards the stationary and the mobile phases. Components that are strongly adsorbed on the stationary phase are eluted uh, later and the components that uh, are least strongly adsorbed uh, on the stationary phase or are more soluble in mobile phase are eluted first. So this is the concept. Let's discuss an example. As you can see, propanol 1 is more soluble in the mobile phase than propane. So it flows with greater speed through the column than propane that interacts more with the non-polar stationary phase than the mobile phase. So the affinity of the components towards the stationary and the mobile phases are facilitated by their adsorption and solubility. High adsorption means uh, slow movement of molecules through a column and high solubility means faster movement of molecules through a column. It's the polarity of the compounds that they dictate their affinities towards the stationary and mobile phase. If the stationary phase is polar and the components present in the mixture are both polar and non-polar, then initially non-polar molecules will be eluted first because polar molecules will be adsorbed strongly on the stationary phase. Later we will elute the polar molecules from the stationary phase. So this is the principle of chromatography. Chromatography is divided into different types on the basis of different uh, factors like uh, on the basis of chromatographic bad shape. Stationary phase is sometimes called chromatographic bad. Uh, so on the basis of bad shape chromatography is of two types planar chromatography and column chromatography. Planar chromatography employs a planar stationary phase for example TLC and paper. Paper chromatography uses cellulose um, a polar substance as a stationary phase. TLC involves a stationary phase of a thin layer of adsorbent like silica gel, alumina or cellulose on a flat inert substrate. In column chromatography, the stationary phase is packed into a glass or metal column. On the basis of mobile phase, chromatography can be liquid chromatography, gas chromatography or supercritical fluid chromatography. Liquid chromatography can be carried out either in a column or, a, uh, or on a planar surface. Uh, in gas chromatography, separation is always carried out in a column which is typically packed or capillary. Supercritical fluid uh, chromatography uses a supercritical fluid such as carbon dioxide as the mobile phase. It combines properties of gas and liquid phases as it can uh, behave both like a gas and a liquid in terms of different aspects. 
on the basis of mechanism of separation like on the basis of how the molecules interact towards uh, the stationary phase and how they are separated we can classify uh, the chromatography into different types such as adsorption chromatography where the molecules of the mixture are, are adsorbed towards the stationary phase partition chromatography uh, it can, can be liquid liquid or liquid solid chromatography ion exchange chromatography where the components or polar components basically or ions and the mixture are exchanged uh, with the charged particles on the stationary phase affinity chromatography where the components of the mixture have very high affinity towards the stationary phase and size exclusion and gel permeation or gel filtration chromatography in which the molecules are separated on the basis of their size and shape um, on the basis of nature of stationary phase, we can classify the chromatography into two types, normal phase and reverse phase. If uh, stationary phase is polar, chromatography is called normal phase. If stationary phase is non-polar, then the chromatographic technique is called reverse phase. If the stationary phase is non-polar, then the technique is called reverse phase chromatography. In this case, as the stationary phase is non-polar, the non-polar components of the mixture or the hydrophobic components of the mixture will have a strong affinity towards the stationary phase and the polar components will be eluted first. They will leave the column first. Um, moreover, after the elution of polar components, um, again the non-polar components or the hydrophobic components will be eluted on the basis of their affinities towards the stationary phase like the most hydrophobic components interact with the column best and the least hydrophobic components will elute first. Uh, the same thing happens in normal phase chromatography where the stationary phase is polar so the polar components of the mixture will have a strong affinity towards the stationary phase and in this case the non-polar components will be eluted first followed by the elution of polar components. In adsorption chromatography components are separated on the basis of degree of adsorption of the components by the adsorbent and solubility of the components in the solvent. It can be carried out in both the column and thin layer modes. Uh, these concepts have already been discussed in the previous slides. In partition chromatography, the components are partitioned between a liquid stationary phase and a liquid mobile phase. The liquid surface is coated on the surface uh, on the solid surface making it a stationary phase and mobile phase moves from the stationary phase and the components get separated. Paper chromatography and high performance TLC also work on the principle of the same. Ion exchange chromatography it's based on the exchange of charged components of the mixture with the charges on the stationary phase it allows separation of charge or polar molecules the stationary phase consists of an immobile matrix that contains charged ionizable functional groups or ligands and this is stationary phase contains ion exchangers so on the basis of ion exchangers the chromatography is of two types uh, cation exchange chromatography and an ion exchange chromatography. In cation exchange chromatography, the column retains cation uh, because uh, the stationary phase displays a negatively charged functional group. Here, Rx is the stationary phase, uh, X is the functional group that is displayed by the stationary phase, and this negatively charged functional group will have an attraction towards positively charged cation that is C. M positive and B negative are the components of the mixture to be uh, separated. In this case, the C will be uh, replaced by M molecule and uh, eventually uh, this M uh, will be eluted out from the stationary phase. The same thing happens in N ion exchanger. The stationary phase displays a positively charged functional group uh, that is attracted towards a negatively charged uh, N ion M positive and B negative are the components of the mixture to be separated and in this case A negative will be replaced by B negative and will be eluted from the stationary phase. A change in pH affects the charge on the particular compounds and therefore alter their binding.
This is the list containing common cation and anion exchanger and the functional groups displayed by the stationary phase. Affinity chromatography, it's a method of separating biochemical mixture based on high specific interaction between target molecule and ligand attached to the stationary phase. It promotes a specific interaction between antigen and antibody, enzyme and substrate, uh, and receptor and hormone, etc. So, um, these molecules can be separated by this uh, technique. In practice, particles which are uniform, spherical and rigid are used as matrix materials such as polystyrene, cellulose, porous glass and silica. Gel permeation chromatography. In this type of chromatography, molecules are separated on the basis of their size and shape. The smaller analytes can enter the pores more easily and are eluted last. Conversely, larger analytes uh, spend lesser time in the pores and are eluted quickly. The size of the pores for the packing should be chosen according to the range of molecular weight of analytes to be separated. The gel materials generally used for this technique are cross-linked dextrons, agarose, polyacrylamide and polystyrene. HPLC abbreviated as High Performance Liquid Chromatography and formerly abbreviated as High Pressure Liquid Chromatography is the improved form of column chromatography. It's a liquid chromatographic technique basically. Uh, in this chromatographic technique, we allow a mobile phase to flow through a column under high pressure of up to 400 atmosphere. The sample is injected into the system via valve with a connected sample loop. Mobile phase flows from the pump and carries sample to the separation column. Subsequently, the individual components of the sample migrate through the column at different rates and will be separated on the basis of different separation mechanisms such as ion exchange, affinity, gel permeation or adsorption, etc. After leaving the column, the individual substances are detected by a suitable detector and passed on as a signal to the HPLC software on the computer. At the end of this operation, a chromatogram in the HPL, uh, HPLC software is obtained. The chromatogram allows the identification and quantification of different substances. Chromatography has wide range of applications. In forensic science, it's employed um, in scene testing like analyzing blood and hair samples of the crime place. In food industry, it's important in detection of food spoilage and additive detection. Um, in molecular biology studies, uh, it's employed in protein separation like insulin purification, plasma fractionation, and enzyme purification, and also in various biotechnology and biochemical processes. In chemical industry, it's uh, used in testing water samples and also checks air quality. HPLC and GC are much used for detecting various contaminants such as polychlorinated biphenyl in pesticides and oil. Um, it's widely employed in pharmaceutical sector to identify and analyze samples for the presence of trace elements or chemicals and it's important in drug development.